About a year ago, my morning routine consisted of waking up, instantly grabbing from my phone, checking useless notifications from Snapchat and Instagram. I remember I would grab my phone and open up streaks for the day, or I'd watch a, a useless reel I got DM'd. I would then continue downstairs, grab the remote, and watch sport highlights from the night before while eating cinnamon toast crunch on the couch. This is crazy because mornings are the most crucial part of your day. It's just a foundation for the day ahead. For example, a bridge. A bridge cannot stand without a firm foundation holding it up. This is similar to your morning because your morning is what sets up the day ahead. If you do not have a productive morning, how can you expect to have a productive day or week? In this video, I'll explain to you a simple six-step morning routine that completely transformed my life, and I believe it will completely transform yours as well. Step one, make your bed. Making your bed first thing in the morning becomes a key habit that kickstarts a bunch of other good decisions throughout your day, which leads to other good decisions throughout the week, year, and life, ultimately. Making your bed first thing gives you a sense of charge, a sense of accountability that you can continue throughout the rest of your day. It's a sense of getting something done within the first two minutes of waking up. I also like to think a clean space equals a clean mind. With an organized room with a made bed, you're more likely to push away procrastination, to tone on a specific task and get it done. Overall, making your bed first thing will kickstart a bunch of other good decisions, sort of like a domino effect, which leads to exponential growth. It is currently 6.14 a.m., I'm about to make my bed for you guys. The reason I don't make my bed immediately, immediately is I just like to let my bed breathe for a little bit. I don't know. And you can do what you want. That didn't even take me a single minute. Look how quick and easy this can be. Already one test done, one test out the way, not even a minute of waking up. Step two, take a cold shower. And you're thinking, why would I want to take a cold shower first thing, especially in winter? This would just put me in a bad mood before my mornings even started. Well, I could go, I could go on and on about the benefits of cold showers, but I'm going to keep it short. As soon as you feel the initial shock of cold water, it turns your brain from tired and sluggish to on fire clearing any sort of brain fog, making your morning way more productive. Cold showers also wake you up instantly, believe it or not, better than caffeine does. But don't take my word for it, try it yourself. Lastly, the benefits are insane. It increases metabolism, enhances circulation, increase in endorphin levels, and believe it or not, it serves as an antidepressant. And the crazy statistic is it helps to fight common cold and diseases like the flu and other sicknesses. Cold showers are a key part in my morning routine. If I don't want to take my cold shower, it sets the rest of my day up for mediocrity. This shower took, no joke, three minutes. It's another plus about cold showers. It it's so fast, you can get way more stuff done throughout your morning instead of wasting 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes sitting under the warm shower doing nothing. It's way more optimal for people who actually want to get stuff done. Step three, meditation. A lot of people neglect meditation when it comes to morning routines and so did I for a long time. I didn't find the need to sit down in silence when I could be getting stuff done, getting a jump start on the day. It wasn't until I started meditating that I realize the benefits to meditation. I notice an increase in patience and understanding, a longer attention span and a better relationship between my thoughts. I personally use the Medito app. It's great because it ranges from daily meditations to gratitude meditations that you can choose from. My personal favorite is the gratitude meditation. It sits you down and makes you think of something you were grateful for in the past day. This is my favorite because studies have shown that being grateful decreases stress and in result makes you live a longer, more fulfilling life. And that's why I love it. Meditation will level up your mental health and your relationship between your mind and your body.
Step four, gratitude journaling. This step could be similar to gratitude meditation if you gratitude meditate daily, but if you do any regular form of meditation, then this step is a must. The feeling of gratitude or looking for the best in any situation will greatly improve your mental health. I have a friend, and this friend recently had his finger sliced by an ice skate while ice skating, and it, re it required surgery, but he told himself that he would look for the positive in any given situation through this next year, and it started off rough. He had to get surgery, but anytime someone asked him how his finger was doing, he would automatically respond with, it's great, it's fine. He put, he installed this mindset that he would be grateful in any situation. He's already been telling me how much better he's he's felt while doing this, how much more happy he's been. Instead of focusing on the negative, he's now focusing on the positive and it's greatly improved his mood. A lot of teens cope with depression, stress, anxiety in unhealthy ways like weed or other drugs. But gratitude journaling can gratitude journaling serves as an antidepressant and can help you cope with those feelings in a healthy, positive way. I encourage you, if you're struggling with those feelings, start gratitude journaling. This will greatly improve your mindset and disregard any of those unhealthy feelings. Gratitude journaling is a key component in my morning routine that would not change for anything. Step five, daily devotion. I myself am a religious person, so I make this a priority to read a chapter of my Bible each day. This step is short, maybe takes five minutes, but this is probably the most crucial step in my morning routine. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not perfect. I do miss days, but I'm striving to tone that down to get it done each day. Today, I was in Romans chapter 15, and the gist of this chapter is saying that we must not just love ourselves or please ourselves. We must love others and bring them closer to Christ. This step helps me just look over or just try to optimize the day ahead. And this puts me in a, a good mood instantly, just like journaling and meditation. But this helps me level up my heart set to love others daily. Step six, morning sunlight. I know it's cloudy outside right now, but this doesn't hinder the fact that we can still get benefits from morning sunlight, even when it's cloudy. It's important to get outside because this sends signal signals to our brain that it's time to get the day started. It kicks our circadian rhythm, which allows us to fall asleep at night. Your body tells you or, send, or lets you know when you're tired, and this is all due to the circadian rhythm. Andrew Huberman recommended Five minutes of morning sunlight on a summer sunny day and 15 minutes on a cloudy day like this. I like to come outside first thing in the morning just to breathe in the fresh air. It puts me in a better mood and nothing beats nature. This six step morning routine completely transformed my life. I guarantee you if you start doing this morning routine, you'll see drastic improvements in your day to day life. I believe in you, bro. Stay strong.